Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, my name is Alexandra Moulton. And you have recently done a run. Uh, is it a marathon? Yes, it was a marathon, yeah. 26.2 miles. <laughs> How did you do a marathon in lockdown? So, I've always wanted to do a marathon and I sort of took it upon myself to train on my own accord. I wanted to do it before my 23rd birthday, so I gave myself just three weeks to train for it. I started off by doing a 10 mile run and then every weekend before the marathon I did a really big run and then in between I sort of did four miles, six miles in between and then in between that I sort of tried to you know massage my legs and make sure I didn't get any knots or aches or anything like that. What charities did you do it for? I ran the marathon for CAFOD and the Big Health Project. Um, what's your connection to CAFOD and the Big Health Project? So CAFOD is a charity I volunteer for. Um, I recently started volunteering for them in lockdown, helping contribute to their databases. And the Big Help Project is a charity I work for. Um, I started working for them early December. And how much did you raise? At present, I've raised over £1,340 with gift aid. And if people want to sponsor a store, are they able to do that? Yes, if you go to Virgin Giving and you type in running my first marathon, you'll find my page there and you can donate and share. What does CAFOD do and why did you choose it? So CAFOD are an international development agency. They have a presence all across the world, um, a network of Catholic agencies, which means they have really great reach. Um, they also do a lot to do with education, educating children about poverty around the world. Um, and their approach, which is, you know, helping communities help themselves rather than just impose what we want and what we think is right. So why did you choose CAFOD then? I, I just really admire the work they do. Um, at university I studied international disaster management, so I learned quite a lot about them there. And then coming out of university, um, I really wanted to get involved with some volunteering with a charity and an opportunity came up with CAFOD. And, the more I learnt about them with the volunteer work that I've been doing, the more I thought it would be really nice to raise some money for them for the uh, Water for Water Challenge. And what's the connection with the Big Help Project? So, like I said, I work for them um, and have done since the beginning of December. And they have a very good approach as well. Their aims are to feed the hungry and to help people out of poverty. So they provide a wraparound service whereby they offer food through the Nosley Food Bank. They also offer debt advice help people into uh, employment and um, there's all these different kinds of services that the Big Health Project offer to sort of help people out of poverty and, and help themselves onto a better life. And if people want to know more about the two charities, where can they go? You can go onto their website. So if you just type in thebighealthproject.com, you'll find the Big Health Project and I'm sure if you type in Cathod, you'll their website will also be the first result that comes up. Do you plan to do any more marathons? Not at the moment. Probably when things are up and running again, I would like to enter a proper competition because I think it would be really nice to you know, be involved in that atmosphere with loads of other runners. Um, but my next goal is a triathlon. <laughs> Can you explain a bit more about the Big Help Project? Yes, so the Big Help Project are a charity based in Knowsley and they've got two clear aims to feed the hungry and to help people out of poverty. So in order to do this, we've set up a variety of different projects. So the first project that started was the Nosy Food Bank, which started in 2011. After that, we've got the Next Steps programme, which helps people into employability. You've got the Jubilee Debt Advice, how people with debt. We've also got Big Help Homes, which sits under the Big Help Project umbrella, um, where we've got a lot of different housing programmes for housing the homeless. So we've got the Fresh Start programme, which helps ex-offenders. We've got the Safe Havens programme which helps um, women and children that flee domestic violence and asylum seekers and we've also got general needs tenants as well. And then as well as that we're also a member of Community Repaint um, and we've got the Painting Green project whereby we recycle unused paint and sell this at a reduced cost. And if anybody wants to take part and help out, uh, raise money or anything, how do they do that? If you would like to raise money for the Big Help Project and you'd like to raise money for a specific cause, please get in touch with us via our submission page on our website and we can help you out with whatever you'd like to fundraise for and we'll support you in however you want to do that. Do you do food donations? 
Yes, we do. We are currently taking few donations. And from the 12th of April, we'll be able to take other donations as well as furniture and clothes and things like that. Thank you for your time and good luck with your next project. Uh, thank you very much. You're very welcome.